Hey everybody, it is Thursday and it's time for another parking lot confessional before work. So, uh, court is back. So that's the good news. And, uh, hopefully fingers crossed guys that we have a verdict today. Um, justice for the chains. Jeez Louise. Um, let's just hope that today is the day that we see justice for Danny Masterson um, really come down with the hammer of Thor because uh, we need it. Uh, we've all been waiting for it. Uh, well, we, the collective we, the royal we, let's be honest. Um, the Janes have been waiting nearly 20 years um, and uh, they need it. They need it a lot. So we got to all collectively send our good vibrations to them. Um, I'm really hoping that the jury uh, took this day off. Uh, it's not really a day off, it's just the court schedule uh, landed that way to gather their thoughts and take some rest and um, do what they needed to do to, uh, you know, come back and deliberate one last day and come to a conclusion. Um, you know, it's easy for us on the outside with a plethora of other knowledge um, to know um, you know what the verdict should be but it's different when you're you're in a courtroom you know we have to remember that this is a, a, a actual court case and they can only go based on the evidence that's given to them inside that court case and they have to deliberate based on those set factors right um, and it's definitely not like what we see in law and order and things like that um, and TV shows. So we have to, you know, give them a little bit of grace, um, on that. So hopefully, um, everything goes well, you know, and, um, yeah, it's really, uh, it's kind of exciting. I'm trying not to just like be nervous about it all day, but I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous guys. I'm a little nervous. Uh, but you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to that. Um, I feel like justice is in the wind. Um, and I'm excited too that because things seem to be getting stirred up in uh, the internets and in the world and Scientology seems to be getting a little scurred. They're, they're a bit scurred right now uh, because there's more and more of us that have decided, you know what, um, we're just going to start saying what's real and what's going on. And that seems to be upsetting to a lot of peeps out there that uh, we've just decided, you know what, uh, we're just going to tell it like it is. We're just going to tell our stories. And um, because we have, there's no reason for us not to, you know, um, because honestly, Scientology doesn't have any power anymore. Um, and that's the real truth. Uh, they don't have any power over us. They don't have any control over us. And, um, I guess that scares them that they have lost this power and this control. And that's, uh, that's the real, uh, thing. And, and when you really realize that, um, that they don't have that control over you anymore, um, you can really, you're free. That's the fun part. That's when the fun part of life starts happening. Um, but it doesn't happen for a very long time. And I think that's the part that a lot of people miss and a lot of things that the Janes went through for a long time. Um, and that's the sad part of the testimony, right? Um, it isn't just the, the sexual assault that happened, which of course is, um, for anyone who's been through that. I'm also a survivor of that. That's a separate issue. Um, I, I, I think anyone who listens to this video who knows a, a female human, um, would be hard pressed, honestly, to find a, an alive female human who is not a survivor. So if you um, know a, a, a female human in your life, <laughs> uh, you're probably looking at a survivor of sexual assault in some way. Um, and if you think you don't know one, you know one. You know a survivor. Um, it's probably your mother, your sister, your aunt. Uh, your friend, your coworker. Um, so when these storylines come up in the news, um, on a television show, in a movie, um, and um, in casual conversation, and you wonder why people get 
frozen, um, why they laugh uncomfortably, why, um, they change the subject, um, why they, uh, squeeze their arms, why people get angry, all the things that suddenly their behavior changes. Um, you notice something different about them immediately. That's a, that's a trauma response. Um, and if you're not aware of that, if you're not aware of it, become aware of it. Start noticing, start becoming aware of what's happening to women and men, um, around you who are survivors of these things, right? Um, because people who are survivors of any form of trauma, they, their behavior changes immediately around you when people become triggered knowingly and unknowingly, um, two things. And it takes a tremendous amount of effort on people's parts to walk around and behave like a normal person. Okay. Uh, to slap a smile on our face and, uh, come to work and be that jolly, jolly person that everybody loves and everybody wants to hang out with and the person that makes everybody laugh and all of those things. Um, those people are often, um, some of the deepest scarred people that you will ever know. Um, and you would never know it because they seem to be the most happy, right? Um, myself included. Uh, I take, oh, we all know what that means. I take it upon myself to make sure that everyone around me is having a good time and everybody at work is doing well and staying upbeat and staying on target and that our team is constantly winning. That's my number one job. Um, I don't do it anymore to hide my scars because I've done a lot of work um, to heal my scars. I have a great uh, foundation to do that in, uh, now, but some people don't, some people don't. So today on the day that we're hoping for justice, if you're one of those people who has been doing it on your own, okay, please don't just do it with a smile. Okay. There's a lot of help out there. I'm going to post some links to some resources uh, in this and it's okay to ask for help. It took me a long time to do that, but I want you to know that it's okay to ask for help. It does not mean weakness. And I want everybody to listen to the great Lizzo song today. Song of the day special. Every single one of you is special. And I'm so glad that you're here sending you all love, sending love to the Janes. Let's get some justice today. <laughs>